What's going on, Neon Nation? Welcome back to the channel for some more Cyberpunk 2077 content. Today we're talking about the top 10 most exciting features in Cyberpunk 2077, why these are some of the top things to look out for, whether they're things in the world, or if they're gameplay mechanics, and how each of these things have the potential to take Cyberpunk 2077 to the next level. At number 10, we have Photo Mode. Now this has been confirmed by CD Projekt Red as coming to Cyberpunk 2077 for a while now. This is a feature that has been implemented in games like God of War and even as far back as Halo 3 to capture some of the epic moments we will have in the game. Now considering the world of Cyberpunk 2077 and Night City is flooded with detail, neon lights and cybernetically augmented individuals, this means that a potential photo mode will absolutely produce some amazing screenshots and I'm sure content creators will find unique ways to play around and create some beautiful highlight reels of each individualized epic moment in Night City. No details on exactly how it will work yet, but confirmation that it will be there is intriguing enough to get us to start thinking about what we can do with it. Next we have backstories. Now I asked you guys in the community panel on my channel what would be your backstory based on what we saw in the gameplay demo. Interestingly enough, we got a wide variety of answers, which is probably what CD Projekt Red is actually shooting for. These specific backstories will unlock different possibilities and paths later on, according to the narrator of the gameplay demo. To what effect these will sway the side and main quest paths is still to be determined, but options like having a rebellious rocker boy childhood hero versus a ruthless corporate god gives a wide range of in-game possibility. Key life events and why you are in Night City will define much of your background, and there might even be more nuanced choices in the full release. It all ties into having an insane amount of options, replayability, and freedom. Next we have one of my favorites, the inspect system. As it stands right now, the best way to learn about the world of Cyberpunk 2077 is to look at Cyberpunk 2013 and 2020 lore, as well as wikis, source books, and anything Cyberpunk that has come out of the makers of the source material of Cyberpunk 2077, Artelsorian Games. When we finally get our hands on Cyberpunk 2077, we're going to be immersed into a world littered with slang, phrases, and details, which will most likely overwhelm us. It is 2077, and the world has progressed in very much the same ways as it always has in our real world. If you told someone I'm going to Google something way back in the 1980s, they would probably look at you a little funny. Something similar will most likely happen when you arrive in Night City, and you will be overwhelmed with just how many layers of context there is. The answer to this is Cyberpunk 2077's inspect system. You can closely analyze an item or piece of tech you have found in the world to see its history, what it's used for, and all the intricacies of it. This will help you acclimatize and adapt to the times. Think of yourself in Night City as an old dude using a smartphone for the first time. You're going to be very lost at first. At number 7 we have romances and relationships affecting the story. Your sexual escapades in Cyberpunk 2077 can develop into fully-fledged long-term romances, and you can choose your sexuality, whether that be gay, lesbian, or bi. NPCs will also have their own sexual preferences, and depending on in-game choices you make, you can find yourself in different trajectories when it comes to relationships. Again, this is a feature which will presumably make your time in Night City feel more authentic. At number 6, we have the reworked dialogue system. This is what CD Projekt Red is calling their directive scene system where they're trying to blend gameplay and cinematic elements. This means you can interrupt NPCs when they're talking and other scripted elements in many ways that can escalate or de-escalate any situation. You can decide to pull out your gun mid-sentence and start peppering away, which gives you control over the flow of each situation. You also feel the repercussions of your actions much more viscerally because of this increased amount of control. The dialogue system also extends to different NPCs and has a wider variety of options for you to choose, meaning more branching paths and ways to play. At number 5 we have vertical rather than horizontal exploration. The Witcher 3 was all about traversing through mountain ranges, open and vast fields, and underground caverns. This made everything feel very horizontally built. Cyberpunk will be the complete opposite with most exploration being multiple story mega buildings. Each floor will house many activities and people and the world can be huge upwards as well as downwards. As we know, these vertical mega buildings will feature handcrafted details, making each exploration up to the top or down to the bottom unique and entrancing. At number 4 we have the weapons, their mods, perks, attachments, and even melee options like bullet deflecting katanas. 
So far we've seen a tech blunderbuss with an alternate wall penetrating firing mode, a machine pistol with a ricochet bullet mod, and a smart rifle featuring homing bullets and tracking of enemies. We've also heard details about a bullet deflecting shield module for a katana. Based on the source material and the sheer diversity in the weaponry, I think we can say we're in for a treat when it comes to a sandbox arsenal. Even the mantis blades are a unique take on melee combat. Let's just hope the combat mechanics are refined. Next up we have CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk 2077's vision of a fluid class system. This fluid class system will let you swap between three different archetypes on the fly. These three classes are the Solo, which is the Soldier class, the Netrunner, which is the Hacker class, and the Techie, which is the Crafting and Engineering class. You will choose one of these at the very start, but as you progress you are not locked into this initial choice. You will be able to customize your abilities as you go, mixing elements from each class without restricting your main role. These abilities will allow you to do everything from hacking enemies' weapons and networks, to running on walls and double jumping, and these will only play one part in the complex combat system of Cyberpunk 2077. At number 2 we have the Net. One of the most intriguing elements of Cyberpunk 2020 and 2013 lore, the Net is a Netrunner's playground where we can discover hidden systems, firewalls, and security programs all looking to fry your brain. During missions, you'll be able to clash with hostile Netrunners in the Net who are defending areas like corporate secrets and mega buildings. Now we don't know much about how this will play out in the actual game, but if the lore gives anything away here, this is going to be an epic Matrix styled realm. I mean everyone wants to be those stereotypical hackers in the movies, so this is naturally really enticing. If you guys want more information on the net, check out the channel for a net running and net video, as well as some of the technology in Night City, which includes cyberspace. At number 1, it's all about the cyberware and the cybernetics. In this vision of a cyberpunk world, cybernetics and cyberware are absolutely everything. From helping out with day-to-day -day functions, as well as being useful in linking weapons and vehicles to our central nervous system using a routing cybernetic, this tech will be a central point to the world of Night City. Each time we install and upgrade cyberware, we will have to visit a ripper dock, and with each piece of ware, there will be unique animations and humanity costs associated. Balancing power with efficiency and seeing just how many different vast choices there will be unlocks an unreal amount of replayability and ways to traverse this world. Just take a look at how many choices there are in the source material. From sexual implants called Mr. Stud and Midnight Lady, to ripper blades, to biomonitors and nasal filters, everything has been thought of. I hope all this diversity and choice is reflected in the game when 2077 releases. Thanks for watching Neon Nation, and for everything and anything Cyberpunk 2077, subscribe and hit that notification bell.